Let's tell you about this now. Group Theory. Black Music is the latest offering by South African jazz drummer, music composer, scholar and activist Dumimo Horosi. The project is revered as a guide map of both blackness and Africanness straddling the continent and the diaspora. The show is on stage tonight at the State Theatre as part of the annual Mzansi Fela Festival. Mohorosi joins us now to discuss the latest offering and what to expect tonight. A very good Good morning to you and thank you very much um, for availing yourself. Um, how are you feeling? What kind of space are you in? <laughs> um, hi, Tutu. Um, thank you. First of all, thank you for, for, having, for having me. And I mean, um, I mean uh, you know, uh, I'm in a, in a joyful, joyful space, I guess. Um, you know, uh, it's, a beautiful, it's a beautiful day. And just um, looking forward to, to sharing space uh, with, with, with a lot of people later on, later on today. Um, Sort of like thinking through the, the prisms of black freedom and um, the, the black liberation project. <laughs> sure. Magwande, that feeling of, of goodness and greatness and all the best for tonight. But let's talk about mm -hmm. that, right? Um, black liberation and um, what informed um, or your earliest knowledge of, of how we even got to this space that we are at today where you are the vessel through which... What a reawakening is happening, if you will, for lack of a better phrase. Mm -hmm. um, um, I guess you know more, more than more than reawakening. I think we sort of like uh, we are yet another sort of like uh, critical moment that sort of I think pivots within the whole you know um, tradition of the uh, or rather or rather the black radical tradition because I think we are we are sort of like at a, at a moment where ideas about black consciousness and you know, also thinking through the black consciousness sort of like ideology through the 70s and 80s I think there's a way that um, these kinds of questions are resurfacing themselves that um, what what do we do with sort of like these unfinished programs of freedom um, and I mean I think um, I'd, I'd like to linger a bit on these on this notion of an unfinished project of freedom um, that I think um, you know um, scholars activists and artists um, like myself and many others um, even the generation before us have been sort of like thinking through um, you know the, 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 the inadequate sort of like um, the inadequate tools that we have gotten to since 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 the emancipation project, and how I think um, um, and how I think um, um, it's a it's a way of of thinking through um, uh, again what what can we do anew or so like what can we think afresh um, that still has the same uh, no principles around the integrity and the love for the people. Um, yeah. Dumi, little mama is welcome into the conversation, so we don't mind if you don't mind sharing her with the world, that she can sit right there with you and we can have this conversation. Mm -hmm. So you speak of the unfinished project um, of freedom. What are some of the things that are yet to be checked off the list? Um, you know, I mean, if we, if, if we use black consciousness as the guideline, I mean, Biko tells us that, you know, um, the most important tool in the hands of the oppressed is the mind of the oppressed. In the hands of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed. And I think um, we're trying to think again of, a, of, of that moment of how to, to rethink um, um, and reimagine of how we think about ourselves. And I mean this idea of, of um, a, re, a rethinking of one's own self-image I think is an important one within this current sort of like, you know, dispensation of... Um, of loving yourself, um, of sort of like finding yourself. And I mean, there's a lot of things that are happening within this um, space and time right now that I think these moments of us sort of like um, checking in um, in terms of our, you know, um, psychic health, in terms of our spiritual health, I think in terms of our, in terms of our political position, I think they, they, they sort of like uh, um, um, are moments that, again that, that 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 speak to sort of like that notion of the incomplete project of, of, of freedom. Um, so I mean I think this 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 idea of the of 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 us thinking of ourselves anew um, um, I think is, a, is it's an important project um, in terms of uh, building the conceptual frameworks of how we see ourselves. So these conceptual frameworks can then be 
uh, practiced within the reality. But I think um, reality as we know it has become so absurd because the conceptual frameworks, what, what um, other scholars are calling the ontological frameworks of, of blackness itself, have found itself in such sort of like violent circumstances that we need to first reconfigure these um, conceptual frameworks of how we see ourselves in the world and how we be in the world um, as a way for us to attain these um, the complete um, um, idea of what you know um, we can envision freedom to be. Um, mm. you know.